In this video, we'll briefly overview radioisotopes that are used in medicine. So radioisotopes are, um, give off energy and they give off radioactive particles, um, which sounds very dangerous, um, and they can cause radiation poisoning. But we can take advantage of radioisotopes, especially ones with short half-lives, to image um, organs, to detect the presence of tumors, um, and to even treat um, cancer. Um, so they can be injected, they could be ingested, and we can use that to determine whether or not something is functioning properly or detect if there's a tumor or cancerous cells present. Um, and so we really have two main areas here. We have detection, and we also have treatment that we see in medicine using radioactive isotopes. So rapidly dividing cells are extra sensitive to radioactive damage. Um, so that means that if a uh, sample of tissue that has cancerous cells and normal cells were exposed to radiation, the cancerous cells would be damaged more. And so we take advantage of this to treat cancer. Um, and so we can do this in a couple ways. There's external methods where you would use gamma ray beams, so like energy beams at the site, or internal, where you have a substance that's ingested that or injected that emits gamma radiation or emits beta particles. Technetium 99M, we've talked about this. This gives off just gamma radiation. Um, so it's a gamma, it, it decays by gamma decay, but it stays the same. Um, is useful for imaging, especially gallbladders um, or internal bleeding and bile ducts. There's an example of an image you would get using Technetium 99 um, imaging. Positron emission tomography is another example of using radioisotopes um, to scan organ function. Um, so in this case, we use radioisotopes that will emit positrons. Um, and when a positron, which is basically a positive electron, and an electron come together, and there's electrons everywhere, right? They are matter and antimatter. They go, shoo, they disappear and become two gamma particles, or gamma, sorry, two gamma waves. And so we can then detect those gamma waves and use this to do things like detect tumors, artery diseases, and can look, track Alzheimer's and the progress of cancers. And, and this is an example of a, a PET scan right here, it's showing kidneys and the bladder. So you can see the bladder and the kidneys right here. And we use a lot of radioisotopes within medicine. Um, here's kind of a summary of some of the ones that are commonly seen. Iodine is selectively taken up by the thyroid. And so iodine-131, if ingested in the body, will be isolated in the thyroid. And so it can help with hypothyroidism, it can help with imaging, and it can also help with treatment of thyroid tumors. Um, Xenon-131 is used in um, imaging lung function. Technetium-99 is great for bone scans, but it's also great for gallbladder function and visualizing um, the gastrointestinal system and looking for bleeding. Um, we see things like Iridium-192 used um, to treat breast cancer and Phosphorus-32 for treating leukemia and lymphomas. And then thallium 201 for looking at heart function and imaging heart function. 